Hey everybody, Scott with Tango Down Production, and I'm gonna do a really quick review on my man purse. I mean my man, I mean my Maxpedition bag, because all my friends and family are making fun of me for carrying this thing around, but they can all go choke on a dick. So anyway, here it is. This is my new Maxpedition bag. This is a Fat Boy, and I'm actually gonna get the camera and get you guys some close-up views of uh, of what this is. For those of you that don't know, you can go on the internet and Google it. These things are expensive. They can run up to about 75, 80 bucks. I found a. I just googled basically. Maxpedition Fat Boy and went for prices and I found a place that was selling it as cheap as with shipping it cost me fifty nine dollars and eighty cents basically so which I thought was a pretty good deal so I went ahead and picked one up so anyway let me grab the camera here and we're gonna take a look at what we got here okay get my arm out of the way so here we are this is the Maxpedition bag this is the uh, the Fat Boy now they make another model called the Fat Boy S model which basically doesn't come with the cell phone carrier that you see here so if you take out your um, snap clip there, push on the bottom there, and there out comes the uh, out comes the cell phone. On each side of the cell phone carrier, you have a pen holder here, and you got one on this side right here too. Um, I don't only use the one. It has a quick disconnect clip here, a really nice reinforced pad here for your shoulder for comfort. It is fully adjustable with Velcro and adjustable straps there. And then over here, it's got a, a quick connect clip. You can, I usually put my car keys here, so whenever I get out of the car, because sometimes I have a big old fat brain fart and I'll lock my keys in my car. Um, so I'll snap those there, and then I'm good to go. You got a couple molly straps here, so you can attach an, an additional accessory uh, compartment here. Main, or I'm sorry, we'll start with the outer compartment. You've got a small pouch in here. You could put probably, I would guess maybe like a small, real thin wallet in there if you had to. I think I got some like green tea, instant green tea or some shit in there. Uh, my favorite part of this bag is the accessory pouch on the side that holds a, a spare magazine. So I've got a spare uh, Glock 23 mag in there. So that's what I carry in that. Um, on this pouch over here, this side here, and also I'll note that this also has molly straps on the outside as well. And this has got amazing double stitching triple stitching on like almost every portion where there's thread on this bag so it's extremely well reinforced um, on days I'm dragging ass I got a five hour energy shot in there and I've also got my uh, my sunglasses in there so that helps me get through so and then again you've got quick disconnect clips there that opens up there's no pouch here there is a small pouch in the front right here you could put some, again something some papers whatnot in there We'll try and get this thing to sit upright as best I can. I got my wallet. I also got a, a, a day planner in there. I'll take both those items out and throw them off to the side and see if I can't get you a good inside the, the pocket view here. There is a really neat feature about this bag. I'm kind of one hand in it here, so bear with me. But anyway, this is a, uh, a really nice rain protective pouch. comes with a drawstring. So you're able to zip, uh, cinch it down really tight to keep your items from in there getting wet. It does have, and again, it's going to be kind of hard to see in there. I don't know how well my lighting is. Um, move the draw straps out of the way. Uh, and there comes my good friend uh, Aaron with the tack light. There is a pouch in here that I keep my car cell phone charger. And I also got some like hand sanitizer, hand lotion. Um, there's also another pouch on the other side over here that you can see. Uh, again, thanks to Aaron with the awesome lighting. Okay, we're good there. And then uh, another. There is one more pouch on the outside of the bag here. So there you go. In here, I've got a first aid kit. Uh, very small first aid kit, but uh, I'll get that out of here. And then I got. Uh, I carry some pens, marker, uh, a little plastic fork in there. Uh, that you can see. I stole that from my son. Um, he won't miss it. He's only nine months old. So when he's older and watches this video, he'll know dad stole his fork. But one of the best features of this particular bag that I really like, but I'm not actually going to be able to use it because my gun is entirely too big. And we'll set the camera back up so we can kind of get a view of it. There we go. And on the bag here, as it would sit, you've got a zipper pouch right there, and you can reach in and you can pull out a concealed carry firearm real quick. 
weapon is clear. Okay, so you got your Glock. And as you can see, the Glock 23 does fit in this bag, no problem at all. You would pull this aside, you would reach in, and then you would draw your gun out accordingly. It's Velcroed on one side in there, so you could put a concealed carry holster if you desired. I don't like this system with this Glock because it's a little big and it can get hung up coming out. And I'm all about speed because um, speed means uh, I can save a little bit of time when having to get a shot off to target. And I don't want anything risking hanging me up if I have to draw a weapon and take care of a threat. So anyway, that's what that's originally designed for. Um, not to... Not a big fan of that. For uh, If I had the Glock 27 like Aaron's carrying, I could put that in here and be real comfortable with it with an in, inside uh, Velcroed holster. But uh, that's um, that's the Max Edition uh, Fat Boy. There is um, a strap on this side. I don't currently use it, but this strap's actually designed to go around your waist, and it's also a quick disconnect clip. Um, so that way it'll help keep it tighter to your waist. So if you do want to carry it for the concealed carry reasons, uh, you can do that too. But, yeah, I like it. I mean, it's designed to be worn on the right side for a concealed carry holder. Um, I actually carry it opposite. I carry it on my left side. Because you can carry it either way. Um, so, there it would sit. But the thing, again, you know, you got to remember my quick disconnect is on this side right here. So, if I carry it on my left side, if I need to quick disconnect it, I just got to remember i got to move it in front of me and then come here and quick disconnect it. So, why I'd need to do that, I have no freaking clue. So... Anyway, that is the uh, Maxpedition Fat Boy. Again, ran me about 60 bucks. It's got a really nice uh, reinforced, uh, you know, this is padded all in here. It's really nice, real comfortable, um, real, uh, real easy to, uh, or real comfortable when it sits on your side. Carry strap right there. That's usually how I lug it around, just by the hand strap. So um, you can see there, I'll get a close shot. There's the Maxpedition logo. Um, that's a. Uh, that's pretty much how I run with that. So it, it helps because I can carry extra stuff around with me during my day. And if I come across, I got a cut finger or whatever, I need to whip out a band aid, or if I got a headache, I got Tylenol in there or whatever. So, um, but yeah, it really replaced my huge ass backpack I was carrying around, and I like that because it's a lot more compact, a little more tactical, um, and basically, you know, people can, uh, you know, they can make fun of me all they want because. I'm prepared and I don't give a shit. So, anyway, take care, guys. Thanks here for watching. I'm going to do another review here pretty soon on the uh, command. It's a SOC C belt. It's called SOC C. Um, awesome. It's a Molly system belt with a harness. I got some stuff on order coming in that I'm going to be attaching to it, but I want to wait till all that stuff comes in. Then I'll do a review on that. So, but there's the Maxpedition Fat Boy uh, comment and question. If you have any, uh, throw them my way. I'll be glad to answer them as best I can. But I really love that system. I think it's great because it's not real big like the Jumbos are huge. And uh, they make some that are probably a little smaller than this, but not near as adaptable, I don't think, to everyday use. So anyway, take care, guys. See you later.